Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, amen. We'll start with the Shema, listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. You shall act upon your love. To Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, bav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Exodus chapter 16. They traveled on from Elam, and the whole community of the people of Israel arrived in the Seen Desert, between Elam and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after leaving the land of Egypt. There in the desert, the whole community of the people of Israel grumbled against Moshe and Aaron. The people of Israel said to them, We wish Jehovah had used his own hand to kill us off in Egypt. There we would sit around with the pots, with the meat boiling. We had so much food as we wanted. But you have taken us out into the desert. This whole assembly will starve to death. Jehovah said to Moshe, Here I will cause bread to rain down from heaven for you. For people are to go out and gather a day's ration every day. By this, I will test whether they will observe my Torah or not. On the sixth day, when they prepare what they have brought in, it will turn out to be twice as much as they gather on other days. Moshe and Aaron said to all the people of Israel, This evening you will realize that it has been Jehovah who brought you out of the land of Egypt, and in the morning you will see Jehovah's glory. For he has listened to your grumblings against Jehovah. What are we that you should grumble against us? Moshe added, What I have said will happen when Jehovah gives you meat to eat this evening and your fill of bread tomorrow morning. Jehovah has listened to your complaints and grumblings against him. What are we? Your grumblings are not against us but against Jehovah. Moshe said to Aaron, Say to the whole assembly of Israel, Come close, into the presence of Jehovah, for he has heard your grumblings. As Aaron spoke to the whole community of Israel, the people of Israel, they looked toward the desert. There before them the glory of Jehovah appeared in the cloud. And Jehovah said to Moshe, I have heard your grumblings of the people of Israel. Say to them, at dusk you will be eating meat. In the morning you will have your fill of bread. Then you will realize that I am Jehovah your God. That evening quails came up and covered the camp. While the whole morning there was a layer of dew all around the camp. When the dew had evaporated there, on the surface of the desert was a fine flaky substance. As fine as the frost on the ground. When the people of Israel saw it, they asked each other, Man, who? What is it? Because they didn't know what it was. Moshe answered them, It is the bread which Jehovah has given you to eat. Here is what Jehovah has ordered. Each man is to gather according to his appetite. Each is to take an omer, that's two quarts, per person for everyone in his tent. The people of Israel did this. Some gathered more, some less. But when they put it in an omer measure, whoever had gathered much had no excess, and whoever gathered little had no shortage. Nevertheless, each person had gathered according to his appetite. Moshe told them, No one is to leave any of it till morning. But they didn't pay attention to Moshe, and some kept the leftovers until morning. It bred worms and rotted, which made Moshe angry at them. So they gathered it morning after morning, each person according to his appetite. But as the sun grew hot, it melted. On the sixth day, they gathered twice as much bread, two omers per person. And all the community leaders came and reported to Moshe. He told them, This is what Jehovah has said. Tomorrow is a holy Shabbat for Jehovah. 
bake what you want to bake, boil what you want to boil, and whatever is left over, set aside and keep it for the morning. They set it aside till morning as Moshe had ordered, and it didn't rot or have worms. Moshe said, Today eat that, because today is a Shabbat for Jehovah. Today you won't find it in the field. Gather it six days, but on the seventh day is the Shabbat. On that day you won't be able you won't on that day there won't be any. However, on the seventh day some of the people went out and gathered and found none. Jehovah said to Moshe, How long will you refuse to observe my mitzvot and teachings? Look, Jehovah has given you the Shabbat. This is why he is providing bread for two days on the sixth day. Each of you stay where you are. No one is to leave his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. The people called the food manna. It was like coriander seed, white, and it tasted like honey cakes. Moshe said, Here is what Jehovah has ordered. Let two quarts of manna be kept through all your generations, so that they will be able to see the bread which I fed you in the desert when I brought you out of Egypt. Moshe and Aaron take a jar, put it in two quarts of manna, and set it aside before Jehovah to be kept through all your generations, just as Jehovah ordered Moshe, Aaron, set it aside before the testimony to be kept. The people of Israel ate manna for 40 years until they came to an inhabitant land. They ate manna until they arrived at the borders of the land of Canaan. An omer is one-tenth of an ephah, which is a bushel of dry measure. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading Exodus 16? We can ask Jehovah to feed to feed us when we are hungry and in need. We can listen and obey to the Torah, that's instructions, of Yehovah. Know that it is clear, know that it is clear some are very, some of the very first instructions to observe are the Holy Shabbat for Yehovah. When we ob observe Shabbat on the seventh day, we are obeying the mitzvah and teachings of Yehovah. Trust that Yehovah has given His chosen children the Holy Shabbat on the seventh day. This is the day that we need to rest. We need to cease from our normal work. Know that some of the manna was kept for future generations to see. Trust that Hebrews ate manna for 40 years. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can teach others how to listen and obey to the Torah, that's instructions, of Yehovah. Bear one another's burdens, we can practice observing Shabbat, which is holy, set apart, for the seventh day. But don't press it on anyone. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. In this Friday night Shabbat, the Arianic blessing. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts. and He will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Shabbat Shalom.